Hello, my name is Jennifer Myers, and I am the program manager for the Center for Diabetes Wellness and Prevention at the Barnabas Health Ambulatory Care Center. I'm going to present to you some slides about the Diabetes Prevention Program. Prevalence of Diabetes. In the U.S., nearly 37.3 million people have diabetes. Almost one in five do not even know they have it. They may not be seeing a doctor, or they may not have any symptoms at all, and therefore not be aware that they may have diabetes. Prevalence of prediabetes. An estimated 96 million U.S. adults have prediabetes. 15 to 30 percent of people with prediabetes will go on to develop type 2 diabetes within five years. So we think of this as the tip of the iceberg. If we do not do anything to intervene and prevent persons from getting diabetes, this iceberg is going to flip around and there'll be a lot more people with diabetes. So what are some complications of diabetes? Diabetes is recognized as one of the leading causes of death and disability in the United States. Over time, people with chronically high levels of blood glucose suffer damage to their nerves and blood vessels. Diabetes is one of the leading causes of heart attacks and stroke. Diabetes can cause eye damage, eye damage leading to blindness. Diabetes could cause kidney damage leading to dialysis. Diabetes could lead to impotence and difficulty passing urine. And diabetes also affects the circulatory system leading to numbness and reduced blood supply, which can lead to amputations. So what is prediabetes? Prediabetes is a condition in which a person's blood glucose levels are higher than normal, but not high enough to be considered type two diabetes. So how do you know if you are if you have prediabetes. Testing for prediabetes should be done by a healthcare provider. The provider will take labs and look at your fasting glucose. If it's between 100 to 125, that's considered prediabetes. They will also look at something called a glycated hemoglobin A1C, which is a eight to 12 week blood sugar average. Fasting is not necessary. And if it's between 5.7 to 6.4, that's considered prediabetes. So what is the National Diabetes Prevention Program, otherwise known as PREVENT-T2? It's a program based upon a study that showed that a long-term intervention program was able to reduce or prevent the development of type 2 diabetes in persons who had prediabetes. The goals of this program is based as two goals. One is to achieve and maintain a weight loss of five to 7% of initial body weight. And the second is to achieve and maintain 150 minutes of moderate physical activity per week. So who is eligible to participate in this program? To participate in the program, you must be 18 years or older. You also must be overweight according to the body mass index tables, which is available on the website. If you're non-Asian, greater than or equal to 25. And if you're Asian American, greater than or equal to 23. And you must also be at risk for developing type 2 diabetes as per the diabetes risk assessment test also located on the website. If you do have Medicare, you must meet the eligibility labs below which is the A1C between 5.7 to 6.4, or fasting plasma glucose between 110 and 125. If you've had a previous history of gestational diabetes, which is diabetes in pregnancy, you are also eligible to take the program as persons with gestational diabetes are at a higher risk of getting type two diabetes. So let's talk a little bit about the program itself. The program is split into three separate phases. It is a year long program. We are doing the program virtually via Zoom and we are also offering an in-person program. There are weekly weigh-ins and reports of weight and also minutes of activity. As I said, the program is divided into three separate phases. The first phase is the first four months of the program where participants will meet weekly in 16 group sessions the meetings are one hour long and participants will remain in the same group. 
In those first four months, the content is going to focus on basic skills related to healthy eating and physical activity. We're also going to start to think about the external environment and how elements of the external environment start to stand in the way of making long-term lifestyle changes. We're also going to start to think about the psychological and emotional issues related to weight loss and change. The second phase of the pro program is months five through seven. At this point, participants are gonna start to meet every other week. Again, it's the same group, the same amount of time, one hour long, but there's little time that goes by in between. At this point, we start to know the participants in the program and we start to tailor the topics that are most relevant to the participants. It also gives additional support and learning opportunities. And at this point, we're starting to recognize those barriers that can, lead, that can stand in the way of healthy eating and physical activity and start to overcome those barriers with the support of the group. Then we go into the last phase of the program, with it, which is months eight through 12. Again, it is the same group, the same day, the same time. It's one hour long, but now we start to spread out even more time in between sessions and we meet every three weeks. This allows participants to make changes on their own, but still come back to modify behaviors, have some accountability, have the support, and additional learning opportunities. So to summarize some of the requirements of the program, you really wanna think about if this is the program for you at the right time in your life. It is a year long program. It mounts to about 26 sessions in total. Participants are encouraged to attend all sessions of the program as attendance does drive results. However, if you are unable to attend a session, that does happen, and makeup sessions are allowed. However, we do not encourage it to happen too often. Weigh-ins are done at every session, and participants are required to track their activity. Participants are also encouraged to complete food logs, which is really, really helpful because the program is facilitated by registered dietitians and overseen by certified diabetes care and education specialists who are very skilled and experienced, also compassionate and knowledgeable, and will really help you to make changes to your eating habits. So what do participants say about Prevent T2? They say it's an excellent program. They have said that it helped them to understand the relationships between healthy eating and exercise to their blood sugar levels. They said the instructors are inspirational, very positive, non-judgmental, supportive, and extremely knowledgeable. They liked having the accountability and support. And they also said it helped them to overcome those mental challenges that may stand in the way of living a healthy, balanced lifestyle. So if you feel this may be the program for you, your next steps after watching this video is to contact our center and speak to one of our team members who will follow up with you to coordinate the next steps. Now you can do that by either calling our center at 973-322-7007, or you can email karen.ulrich at rwjbh.org, or you can complete an online interest form. Thank you.